one of the best things I like coming about here is that you know time flies just because you're getting lots of work done it's being productive and it's a lot of fun when you like when you're doing what you like to do. Tyler Marshall is at Acro Media working on a program based around the game Minecraft where players build constructions out of textured cubes. The company purchased a server and he's been employed to build it out. So if you can think of Minecraft as more of like a hub and then servers such as Acromedia or like um, HiveMC and stuff like that, they're kind of like smaller things of that. So players join your server, but they're still playing Minecraft. Marshall, who first got into computers in grade eight, is developing a unique version of the game. One of our game types is, is Wayfighter, and you spawn as a bunch of zombies. And that's, you know, doesn't happen in normal Minecraft. There's two different games in the server that I built. You know, there's consistent player bases and stuff like that. So it's a really neat project. It's a, uh, you know, a little bit out of the scope of normal Acromedia website stuff, but it's definitely really cool and making lots of progress, which is awesome. Acromedia is certainly a company on the move. They've hired seven programmers over just the last couple of months. Marshall is in the Okanagan College co-op program. You get paid and it's, uh, you learn a whole lot. You're working on live client stuff, so it works really well. We do find good success from the college. Of, it seems even just the candidates, they're better doers. Um, it seems sometimes the others, uh, you know, with bachelor's degrees and stuff, they have, you know, academic experience, but to get them to actually do a bunch of work, they're, they're a little thin in that area. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we find the college ones, they're good, they're eager to learn, they're easy to teach, um, that kind of stuff. So we like the type of candidate that comes out of there too. Marshall came through the Computer Information Systems Program, which is offered at the Kelowna, Penticton and Vernon campuses of Okanagan College. Students can take either a two-year diploma or four-year degree. Some people start out with a diploma and continue on with a degree. Others get a job and don't come back. We would like them to continue on to the degree because that's better for their long-term success. But um, I can't complain with um, success. I don't know of very many students who continue on to the degree because they can't get a job with a diploma. The people who continue with the degree are those who want the degree. It takes a special kind of person to get into this field, the kind who loves to figure out what makes computer software tick. They build little projects on their own, they build projects with their friends, they build websites for people they know, that kind of stuff, those are the people we prefer the most. They just have that extra drive and that extra bit of experience that that goes past just the education. Those people that when something's wrong with their computer, they'll sit down and they'll keep, you know, going at it and going at it and going at it until they figure it out. So, you know, the types of students that come into it have usually known that they were this way inclined right from when they were just a little toddler. You need to be good at problem solving. Uh, you need to be good at logic. We measure that with math, yes, yeah. math 11. But I ask students, do you play music? Do you do crossword puzzles? Do you play chess? you play backgammon, those sort of things, they're all problem solving uh, experiences. The best type of advice or, or anything like that would just be to do what you like to do. Uh, because if you don't like to program on your own time, chances are when you get full time hired, you're probably not going to want to program every single day.